Hey guys, it is Numistaka and I'm back with you for another video. It seems like the only coins that I've really seen over the last few weeks have been Memorial Sovereigns. Uh, it's one of those coins that uh, a lot of people have bought. It's a fabulous looking coin and it's one that a lot of people who have bought are also sending in for grading. So uh, I thought I'd just talk about the Memorial Sovereigns and show you uh, one of the first sets that arrived. This is a four coin set. Uh, the four coin sets were chosen by a lot of people. They weren't available from dealers. They were only available from the Royal Mint directly. I think the four coin set and the slightly larger and quite a lot more expensive five coin set are the two key products produced by the Royal Mint for this particular edition because they both have a coin uh, or in the five coin set they have two coins which are exceptional and are only available in those particular sets. So the two larger coins, the five sovereign and the two sovereign are only available in the sets and they are going to be the one that advanced collectors want in their collections. Uh, there's quite a lot more people now who collect the two sovereign coins and there is a big interest uh, that has been going on for some time, the last few years, in the five sovereign denomination, the larger gold piece that has 40 grams of gold. So the, this one is the five sovereign set. The only place you'll find the proof five sovereign is in this set. There is also another uh, quantity, I think it was 750 of them, uh, produced in a matte finish as a BU edition, and they're also highly desirable. But it is true that the five sovereign gold piece, uh, 1250 odd of these minted, is going to be the one that most of the collectors want, and probably the one that has the largest financial premium attached to it as well. If you like this design but can't quite stretch to the extraordinary sums of money needed to buy some of these brand new proof coins, you may also be interested in knowing that the Royal Mint investment arm, the bullion side, has launched a bullion version of this coin. Uh, obviously, it's not proof, it's bullion finish, so it's not quite as intricate and detailed, but it does show the same design and it's available at a very, very much reduced premium. And certainly one of those is gonna be an interesting one to add to a collection for the future as well. If you have ordered uh, one of the three coin sets, those are the ones that contain the sovereign, the half sovereign, and the quarter sovereign, um, I haven't yet seen any of those around. I gather they're not going to be sent out from the Mint until March, which is several months after these coins were first released. Uh, so a number of people are going to receive those sets in March and they're going to want to get them graded. One of the things a lot of people are doing is they're asking for first releases designation on these coins, uh, which normally only applies within the first 30 days after the Mint release the coin, but in this case, the Mint aren't releasing them till quite late and people still would like to get the first releases designation. So uh, if you're doing that either direct or through Numistaka, then please do send in a photocopy of the COA and maybe a picture of the box, just some kind of proof that you bought the coins in a set as opposed to an individual coin packaging and you should be able to then get the first releases designation uh, as well. So that's all from me for the moment for today. Going to leave that with you. Uh, lovely coin, lovely set and uh, good luck with your collecting.